The join button is now available. Go check it out, guys. Exclusive content for members only. You take a seat. Outrageous. <laughs> That's unfair. We would be honored if you would join us. In Revenge of the Sith, there was supposed to be a way different ending for Padme's character arc. That would have been very true to her character and not made her look like such a damsel in distress. Padme was a queen before she became a senator. She led many warriors into the face of battle, and she was as cunning as she was beautiful. However, at the end of the movie, I feel George didn't care too much about her character arc, and just used her as a catalyst to focus on Anakin, which I'm all for, since this is Vader's story here, and I'll explain more at the end, but I think putting this part in from the concept art that George did actually like would have been more true to Padme's character in the end. Described by the concept artist for Revenge of the Sith, Ian McKaig, himself, he says Padme was supposed to come down from her ship, leap into Anakin's arms, and thrust her arms around his neck, only to draw back and reveal a sharp dagger to his neck. She planned to kill him, but alas, she couldn't. Even after all the horrors and deaths he had caused, the children he killed, she just loved him too much. He was the father of their children and the love of her life. She couldn't do it. Some dialogue would have passed and then Obi-Wan shows up and Anakin freaks out, now really thinking this was all a plot to turn against him. It would have made even more sense as to why he was so mad with rage. Now here's the piece from the art of Revenge of the Sith itself, check it out. A great deal of time is spent speculating on the events surrounding Padme and her eventual fate. I was brainstorming with Ian, Tiemann says, and he thought she might have a dagger in her hand. George responded favorably and said, I'm starting to see some scenes. Now obviously we didn't get this in the movie, but the concept art is there, and I feel like this would have given such a better arc to Padme. She would have basically been the first person to start the rebellion against Vader and the Empire. You know, sort of. Now I imagine if she actually went through with it and slit his throat, no hesitation whatsoever, Sidious would probably try to make her his new apprentice, and you know, have her take Anakin's place. So, what do you guys think about this? The ending would have been completely different. I think it's much more fitting that she actually tried to do something about it all, rather than just go there and tell him we can leave everything behind and go back to Naboo, which, I mean, I'm sitting there like, yeah, okay, Padme, we know you love Anakin, but your man just killed kids and you're gonna go escape with him now? I think this ending would have worked. I can see why George would take it out as it would cause too much commotion when we need to all have our senses focus on Anakin as the villain, rather than Padme now trying to kill him too in such a treacherous way. I feel if he did incorporate this scene, which is why he probably didn't accept it for the final edit, it would have lessened the blow on strangling her, making it seem kind of like self-defense almost rather than killing your wife because you're insane. Anyways, we got what we got and I'm happy the way it ended. So thanks for watching guys, let me know what you think about it, and if you would have preferred this, let me know in the comments below and we can discuss it. There's less than two weeks now until the Vader fan film. The theater is being booked, and I will announce it in a big video, so you guys better watch that one if you want to show up at the premiere for what I hope is going to be a really big turnout. I hope you guys are ready. Hit like to support. Until next time, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always.